So the first shot I need is just a little bit of the blank background so that I can put a freeze frame on that and then I'll pull down my green screen. Now that I have that, I'm going to get my green screen. I am going to record video of myself sort of going down to the ground like I'm dying or something like that and then of myself sort of getting up for the ghost image. So it's just like, oh, I'm having a heart attack. Ah. Lay still for a little bit. This will be used for backgrounding. Then the ghost gets up. looks at sort of dead body, maybe pokes it, what's going on. Okay, as usual, the first thing I'm going to do with my video is clean up the footage and I want to get just the parts that I need. So I'm going to split the clip here, take off the beginning where I'm walking in. I need just a few seconds of this intro, but I'm going to slow it down to a custom speed. I'm gonna put this at maybe 5%. So now th that one second is now 23 seconds. That should be plenty of time for the effect that I want. Skip over the part where I'm getting the green screen in. I need just this little bit where I go down to the ground. So I'm gonna command B, split the clip, delete all that. I need this part where I'm on the ground. Command B, split the clip. I'm going to Split the clip here so I've got myself just laying on the ground. Once again, I'm going to slow that down. Um, I don't need to slow it down as much as I did the other one. It's already three seconds. I can slow this down to, let's say, about 40%. So now it is seven and a half seconds. That should be plenty of time. And the last bit that I need is me getting up. Looks like pretty good there. Poke and walk out of frame. So I can trim it down to right about here. Delete that. I need this final clip to be on top of a green background. So I'm going to go to my backgrounds. I'm going to go to green and put that in my timeline. I'm going to extend it. About 20 seconds should be plenty. I'm going to put this on top and I'm going to use the green screen effect to take away the background of the, that's outside the green screen. I'm just going to move these corners to crop my image and as usual I can use the eraser tool to erase the highlights and get that a little bit cleaner. Hit the check to say I'm done with that. So that should work for that final clip. Now I can take these two clips and put them on top of that initial opening. And I'm going to use the green screen effect. One of the convenient things about th the way this was shot was since it was all one continuous shot with the camera in place, it doesn't even matter that my original green screen showed the cabinets on the sides. Now one other thing I can do to make this seem more ghostly is I can select this top clip of me as a ghost getting up and I'm going to go to the video effects. I put a clip filter on and I might do something like make the ghost of me black and white 
or glow or something else along those lines maybe I'll do let's try the the negative or the x-ray or the duo tone and see how that looks so I'm going to select that even though the preview looks like it's not going to be the greatest effect it will work better than you might think because it first processes the green screen effect then it handles this video filter so when I put this on top of here it's sort of a glowing me getting up and so now I'm going to share and export this as a file and I'm going to call it ghost one now I dragged and dropped my composite shot in here I'm gonna take this clip I'm gonna split it for right now I want to focus on just this ghost effect I'm gonna put in another green backdrop and this time what I'm gonna do is put this on top but instead of using the green screen effect I'm going to use the cutaway because that allows me to affect the opacity and if I want to look really ghost-like I want to be somewhat transparent or translucent so I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the opacity on that I'm going to have myself just fade in a little bit. So I'm going to put a little bit of a fade on here for just a second. And then come in and be somewhat translucent. So I'm going to hit the check on that. Now I'm going to export this video file. And I'm going to call this Ghost 2. Now that that's done, I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to put both video clips in. So I'm going to put in Ghost 2 and Ghost 1 right here. Ghost 2 is obviously going to go on top of the Ghost 1 clip. I can split the clip right about here and I want to split the clip right when I'm down on the ground I'm going to slow this one down I'm going to put this at slow speed that'll double the length I'm going to move this top clip to the very beginning and I probably can trim off a few seconds at the end that's good enough I need to change this top layer from a cutaway to picture er, to green screen blue screen and now I should have something that works reasonably well so I'm standing there heart attack fall down and a ghost comes up it's not my greatest shot ever but it works well enough one of the cool things about this is the green screen effect is processed before other effects so I can use the green screen effect and then also put on a clip filter and do something like make it an x-ray so it looks like this or I can go to um, I can go to my color and brightness adjustments I can make it darker I can make it brighter I could desaturate it or increase the saturation I can make it cooler or I can make it warmer usually cooler seems to me like it would make more sense for a ghost but 
and that would work pretty well. You could do the same thing if you wanted to make a hologram sort of projection of yourself in a video clip, but that's the basics.